Alright, so today we're going to take a detour from the history highway we've been on. Well, actually. That's sort of been happening, hasn't it? Don't worry about it. Anyway, we're going to take a very sharp left turn into the realm of speculative evolution. For those who don't know what speculative evolution is, it's a genre of speculative fiction, and an artistic movement focused on hypothetical scenarios in the evolution of life. Now, here's a disclaimer. I don't study biology or zoology. And my friend who wrote this script, like, I literally don't know anything about this, he's interested in paleontology. So, here's your what-if scenario. But I will not be going into this totally blind. I will take inspiration from evolution. With that said, let's begin. So, the discussion I'd like to open is the most possible mer-person look. How could a human evolve into a mer-people-like creature? First, we must answer the question of what defines a mer-people, mer-person, merfolk? I don't know. Google defines them as a water-dwelling human-like being. And before we get into the debate, I won't make them look like a fish. Fish meat is off the menu. With this definition, we can immediately create a few choices for evolution to take. Looking at other mammals that went to the sea, assuming these merpeoples are, like, deep-sea dwellers, we can see that creatures like whales, seals, and technically manatees all developed a thick layer of blubber or fat to insulate themselves against the cold. The skin will also gain a grey colour for a sea camo. Like otters, we could develop a very thick layer of body hair. This immediately annihilates the idea that merpeople are slender and very human-like. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. And no. Even if they were tropical water fish, people, mer dudes, they wouldn't become more human. They'd just be slightly less blubbery. With that out of the way, I think the next thing to discuss is what happens to your limbs. And to once again crush your mermaid design philosophy, a tail can't work. The tailbone of the humans has been tried, and is trying its own very best to remove itself. And I doubt it would want to return just because things got a little wet. Maybe a small dorsal fin would appear, but it, probably not. That said, I think the most likely scenario would result in merguys and gals having webbed and maybe enlarged webbed feet like otters, and they'd be keeping their separate legs. While on the topic of legs, what seals did sacrificing like some length of their legs in return for better maneuverability, I think that could actually be very likely. It would be a very practical option for our gill folk. Next, we will talk about the facial development, which will definitely take a change. First of all, depending on the depth that they live, their eyes could get proportionally larger and more light sensitive. Their nostrils would be more like seals, gaining the ability to close and open at will. Lungs will probably need to get bigger too. Facial and head hair will grow shorter, or denser, or not at all. As we near the end of this rambling, I will address the elephant in the room, and that is carcinization. Okay, maybe not, a, maybe not an elephant, more like the crab in the room. For those who aren't aware, carcinization is a phenomenon in nature, which for some reason keeps evolving things into crabs. No, this isn't a joke. No one knows why this happens, but it does. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any evidence of this happening in the mammals, so I can't say with certainty that our mer people will become mer crab people and become the highest evolutionary stage of our being. But, in a purely fantastical thought, I like to think that the keratin in our hair would grow into a natural plate armor. This would ignore everything else I have said and make us the perfect evolutionary crab. But it probably would not happen. Maybe. Just keep that in your heads. The little mermaid? Nah, the little crab person. That's a more accurate thing. Look it up. Anyway, to conclude this, as naturally as the rush script that this is, basically, your mermaids are wrong, the closest things we have are manatees, and uh, they're more likely to become crabs than you would expect. Goodbye. <laughs>